I am a third generation farmer. My family farmed in soybean and cotton. They ain't gotta live tough. And so I had to get a second job. But is it, is this enough? No. I make the money, not enough money, to pay my expense. Basically, I fell behind. Over the last year, I would say that I probably only earned like five to six thousand dollars. I actually had a bank account, but I don't right now. It was so much things needed, it just got in the negatives. Holmes County has some of the highest rates of unbanked and underbanked households in the country. We are the only bank in Chula and we have been the only bank there for as long as we can remember. One of the reasons uh, that a lot of people in Holmes County are still unbanked or underbanked is the lack of jobs. They need a small dollar loan to make ends meet. There are not many alternatives to payday lenders. Some people can't wait on a check. It's about basic needs being met. So these bottles are just a temporary fix to a long-term problem, but it provides immediate release to people who need gas and heat right now. There's a lot of people who need help paying their utilities. We wanted to just try to offer any support that we can. I would say the housing condition is, for the most part, deplorable, but without mobile homes, it'll be a lot of homeless people. You gonna smile? We had water damage, like, they said we had a pipe that was in the wall that was loose. We sometimes keep our oven on. It circulate through the house. We need tidal loans to keep our lights from getting cut off, to get our water from being cut off. Right now, this is all we have. Until we can start dealing with those issues and making those issues better, predatory lenders will be alive and well. I did do the car title loan, which was a big mistake because I had a Chrysler and they ended up taking that. As much as you need the money when you borrow it, you got to think of a way to pay them back. I actually have some nice people that is helping me and my family out right now. Truthfully, like, if that family would have never took me in, I would probably just be looking for a homeless shelter. We are on food stamps, but it's kind of a struggle because we have a good amount of people in the household, so like we we'll end up running out. Even sometimes when you look at your kids and you know you just want better, it gets frustrating. They don't really know the struggle that I go through financially. What you want to pray about? What you want? People like that um, is having money issues. Money. That they will overcome that. Like you just pray for anything like that. Because I max out at the bank, you go to the secondary lender and you get two or three thousand dollars just so you can pay out some other beer. I knew the predator lender was a bad deal. I had the family to take care of too. Car note, taxes, bank bills. If I just really sit down and put that pencil to it, two hundred thousand dollars. Worth of beer and stuff that I had to pay and debt to. Now I'm a farm man working, driving the school bus, working at maintenance, janitor at a school, and I just had to pay a little bit at a time, just keep going. Because that's what I've been doing all these years, just hoping for better days. I'm gonna need just the money now. <laughs> I believe most folk in this community, if they had the opportunity to make a sustained living, they would.